Step into the new when you drive a Chevy. It's time for a fresh approach and a new perspective. And find the Chevy that's right for you. Find new experiences. Find new roads. Chevrolet. Hello again, hello again, everyone, and welcome back to the Missouri Sports Network, MissouriSportsNetwork.com, where everyone has a home field advantage. Coming to you live from the Pizza Ranch studio. Pizza Ranch with seven locations uh, around Missouri, including the Kansas City area, St. Joe, Maryville, uh, Springfield, Branson, and Wentzville in St. Louis. Presented by, as always, Central Bank of the Ozarks in Springfield, Missouri, and surrounding the state, uh, Central Bank. And Great Southern Bank, Great Southern Bank, with 100 locations in six states. They care as much about your money as you do. Doak Propane and the Labor's Union Local 663 were pleased to go about 118 miles to my north to Odessa High School. We welcome in Odessa head football coach Mark Thomas. Coach Thomas, thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you for having us. And, Coach, before we get to our Chevy dealers uh, of the Ozarks uh, Athlete of the Week, uh, you guys three and one on the season, coming off of a, a good season a year ago at eight and two. Uh, what what's going really well right now for Odessa? Well, the, you know the last four years, and we're hoping to keep adding to it. Last four years, we've been forty two and three, so we've had a lot of really good years in a row. Uh, and, and we uh, we're just we're working really hard trying to keep keep that going keep that streak alive. We've won several conference championships. Uh, you know, we won, have won in that time frame. We made it to the district quarterfinals one year that back in 2018, won the class three state championship uh, with 15-0 record in 19. And uh, we're undefeated in 2020, but didn't get to finish through the playoffs due to, to COVID shutdown. So, we're, uh, you know, we, we've been trying to just keep keep that success rolling our way. Well, outstanding. Uh, Coach, uh, talk a little bit about, uh, you know, the numbers that you've got out and, you know, what you had to replace off of last year's 8-2 and two team. What did you have to replace due to graduation? Well, we had about uh, eight, nine seniors that we had to uh, – replace this 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 year um, from last year a uh, lot we do have a lot of uh, new faces in our in our starting lineup uh, offensively and defensively our our numbers are not real high so we have a, a large number of our our guys play both ways and uh, that's something that we're just kind of accustomed to doing here in Odessa uh, we don't get a lot of kids out for football, which is a little bit disappointing. But those that we do, they uh, they know what the game's all about and how to play it and how to prepare for it. You know, we're obviously very proud of. It. So it's the fourth year in a row that uh, you've won the I seventy series or trophy, so to speak, here with this game uh, this past Friday. Tell us a little bit about that game and then the the uh, record set by the young man sitting next to you. Well, yeah, we played uh, Oak Grove High School, and actually it was our fifth year in a row that we won the uh, the I-70 shootout, which is a, uh, a trophy that uh, is sponsored by both fire the fire departments of Oak Grove and in Odessa. And, you know, the, the firemen do a great job of supporting our football programs. Oak Grove and Odessa, is, that's a big rivalry. Uh, we're eight miles apart. Uh, the two towns are basically carbon copies of each other for the most part. And uh, the, you know, the demographics of the, those communities are very, very similar. So, the, you know, the, uh, you know, the competition, the rivalry is, is pretty strong and has been for many, many years. And you can kind of take records and throw them out the window when, when we lock horns, because it's always going to be a battle. And, Obviously, this past year didn't disappoint. It was the thing that was different is it was just a real high scoring affair. Normally, they're knockdown dragouts, and you're just trying to find a way to get the ball in the end zone. This year was kind of the other way around, seeing who could get a stop. It was kind of what what helped win the game. 
Yeah. Well, 100 points scored in that contest. So, up getting up and down the field. And, again, we're visiting with Odessa head football coach Mark Thomas and our Chevy dealers of the Ozarks athlete of the week, Zane Palmer. And uh, Coach Zane had just a huge night, seven touchdowns, 364 yards, both school records. Tell us a little bit about his his performance. Well, he – yeah, he had 33 carries, a uh, little more carries than I would like for him to have. But he's been a workhorse for us all year long. Um, but last Friday was by far his his best ball game. And, uh, you know, we were he, – he not only did he play really well offensively, but he had a great game on the defensive side of the ball as well. So he's a, he's a guy that rarely comes off the field. So he's – He's a true Iron Man football player, and uh, you know that many carries. Obviously, his conditioning is, is uh, stellar. Absolutely. Well, first off, Zane, uh, welcome to the show. And on behalf of the Missouri State, Missouri State, uh, on behalf of the Missouri Sports Network, uh, congratulations, along with Chevy dealers of the Ozarks. And and Zane, tell us a little bit from your standpoint. Number one, uh, did you realize that you were piling up that many yards? Uh, yeah, uh, there after the second half, I think in the first half I had four touchdowns. And uh, at that point, you know, I knew it was going to be one of those games. So just kept working, kept trying to get it. And then I didn't actually know until after the game that I got the seventh. Uh, my little sister told me. Was good <laughs> with me and, her. and yeah, it was very, very exciting. Well, little oh, sisters, they're, they're awful good about counting touchdowns. I guarantee you that. She's yeah. going to know. She's going to know exactly how many you got. What, uh, as you look back on it, on the game, what what were some things that were working really well? I mean, obviously your your offensive line had a tremendous evening, you know, blocking for you. Uh, were there certain plays or set or sets that were really working well? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, our own line, they worked their butts off and uh, they blocked really, really well that night. And uh, yeah, I think it's just with their help, me being able to get to the second level, running the ball, um, you know, it gets easier to pack on those yards when you're uh, getting past the first level and able to break tackles and stuff. So, yeah, uh, definitely credit it to my own line, for sure. And what, uh, what do you do as far as preparation, you know, throughout the week? How are you getting prepared right now? I know Friday you've got uh, at Pleasant Hill, who you split with last year. Um, tell us a little bit about just your preparation. Are you spending a lot of time on film? Or what, what's your prep like this week? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, film is a uh, key to preparing. Uh, you know, Tuesdays and Wednesdays are big practices, and once you get to Thursday, you're just kind of tuning it up. So yesterday and today are kind of our big preparation days. we got to do the best we can to take full advantage of those as well as watching film when we can. Yeah, you have I don't know what it is, but, you know, there are plays that you're maybe lobbying for. Coach, you got to call this. Or, or do you have a favorite set of plays that you – when it, when it's called in the huddle or, or signaled in that you, you just kind of you kind of light up and, you know, hey, I've got an opportunity here? Uh, yeah, I mean, just I just like running the ball. So, I mean, anytime he gives me that opportunity, which is quite a bit, uh, you know, I get excited and I just I like running the ball. All right, very good. So, tell us a little bit about coach talked about you don't you rarely come off the field. Tell us about just your preparation defensively, uh, and how you get just not only mentally prepared for a game, but physically, how do you stay, you know, hydrated and all that throughout the week? Yeah, hydration is very, very important, uh, playing both ways. Um, you know, I think it's just taking care of yourself and uh, you know, make sure you're practicing the right way and, uh, you know, dialing in through the week. Yeah, I'm, I'm used to playing both ways. Uh, last year I played more defense. But, uh, you know, I think it goes back to summer, too, the conditioning we did and just preparing all year. So, uh, you know, on Friday nights you're uh, ready and you're able to play both ways. Very good. Have you been, has this been your position all throughout high school? Have you been the running back, or have you maybe played other positions uh, throughout your career? Uh, yeah, uh, I played uh, our R back is what we call it. It's kind of like a fullback deal, catch some passes. That's what I played last year and uh, my first three years. I, I kind of switched to T. I've kind of always been able to play running back, so I've kind of switched around a little bit. But this year it's kind of exciting to uh, really dial into one position and focus on that. And again, we're visiting with uh, Zane Palmer, Modessa High School, or Chevy Dears of the Ozarks Athlete of the Week. And Zane, if you could go back to, to 2018 and give yourself some advice as a freshman, I mean, what advice would you give that, that freshman Zane Palmer right now, based on what you know now, 
what advice would you share? I, I tell him to, uh, you know, focus on the leaders he had because I was very lucky my freshman year to be on the state championship team. And I was able to see, I mean, it was a great senior class, obviously, that year. So I was able to uh, see the way those guys carried themselves and the way they led and just the way they played the game. So, you know, I tell him to cherish every second I have with those guys and uh, look up to them and try to embody everything they did. Now, as you, you're senior, so do you have any plans or aspirations to play at the next level next year? Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to. Um, just kind of got to see what lies in store for me. Obviously, I'm focused on high school right now, but absolutely, I'd love to play in college. Well, again, Zane, on behalf of uh, Chevaliers of the Ozarks and the Missouri Sports Net Network, congratulations on being named as Chevaliers of the Ozarks Athlete of the Week. Thank you. And, Coach, you got uh, you got a big one Friday. Friday night. Tell us a little bit about what your thoughts are there with, with Pleasant Hill and, and on the road. Well, Pleasant Hill is, uh, you know, they are a really good fo football team. I think they're ranked fourth in the state right now. Um, they ended our season last year. Uh, they beat us 49 to 48. And uh, we had beaten them earlier in the in the regular season. And they're, they're in our conference. And uh, so we we play them at least once every year, and we're probably in the last couple of years we've had to play them twice, and we're anticipating that will probably happen again this year. But uh, we want to go in, and you know, we're just really trying to focus more on ourselves. Yes, they they are a really good football team. They've got a lot of returning starters from their team from last year, so they're they're just reloading. And uh, wh where we've had to, our reload has been a little bit more challenging than theirs. But uh, we're just going to go in and try to play our best game, do the things that we do. We know what we have to do to, to try to uh, slow them down offensively and, and how to attack them, you know, from the offensive side. And we just, we just need to continue to improve. And uh, we've, we feel like if we can continue doing that, then we're going to be a tough out at the end of the year. Outstanding, <laughs> gentlemen. I greatly appreciate your time and being generous with it. I know school days are tough to get kids. you got to get them out of class and uh, or off the field or something like that. But uh, I greatly appreciate you guys uh, figuring it out and, and getting it set up, and we appreciate it. Well, we appreciate you uh, putting this on and uh, get, letting us uh, – have an opportunity to share some time with you. You bet. Hopefully we get to talk uh, down the road and uh, maybe even into the postseason. But, gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank, Sir, you. thank you. You're watching and listening to the Missouri Sports Network at MissouriSportsNetwork.com. And as always, the Missouri State Highway Patrol reminds us to take that three seconds and buckle up. It's three seconds that could save your life. Be safe, be smart, and be here tomorrow. And keep it at the MissouriSportsNetwork.com.